So those who are attending, write your first name and second name, please. Write your first name and second name. Anu, write your second name. Bhavna, write your second name. Write your first name and second name, please. So Tony Fitzgerald, age nine, complaint is a seizures, consultation with a neurologist. OET listening part A, extract two official authentic materials. Yes. Right, very good. Very good, excellent. So, now you have some time to look at these questions. I'm giving you time to study these questions. I want you to get 12 out of 12. So look at these questions. Okay. File, save. File, save as Adobe PDF. Okay. Fine. View full screen mode. Yeah. So study this. So 13, 14, 15, three questions are here. So study, think about all the possible things, whatever you want to think, don't write anything in the chat box. Just study that one. Learn the steps, learn the system step by step. Those who have joined recently, type your name. First name and second name, both.
Anjula Ravi Kumar, welcome. This is the second page, 16 to 21. Third slide till twenty four. Yes. So Shifani Prakash, Sangeeta Patel, Manjula Ravi Kumar. So here we have three other names. Manjula, Sangeeta, Shifali. Okay. So Manjula Ravi Kumar. Manjula Ravi Kumar, right? Then Sangeeta Patel. Yes, then Shifali Prakash. Those who are attending the session, give me your attendance by typing your first name and second name. Manjula Ravi Kumar, R should be capital letter. Maimuna Sayed. Maimuna, don't miss the session. Okay, so Manjula nursing, then uh, Sangeeta nursing, Shifali nursing, and Maimuna medicine. Nasira Batul, Nasira Batul, Nasira Batul, yeah, nursing, right? Yes, now I need your information regarding this. Uh, what is that? So, Manjula Ravi Kumar, which a city in the UK, nationality is Indian, Indian. Yes, Nofa Hamid. Medicine. Yes, uh, Tamil Nadu. Uttikudi. Uh, India. Indian, okay. So give me your information. Manjula Ravi Kumar, Eastbourne, E A S T B O U R N E, Eastbourne. Okay. Uh, Sangeeta Patel, 
Ahmedabad, Indian. Then Shifali Prakash, Indian from Muradabad. Then Maimuna Said from uh, Travel Pindi. These are all our regular students. If I don't remember, this is from Pakistan. Doctor from Pakistan, Nasira Butu from which city in Pakistan? I remember you said you are from Pakistan, but I don't know city. Rachakonda Bhavana. Yes. Bhavana Rachakonda. Okay. Which city in India? Uh, nationality is Indian. Yeah. So, Muhammad Abdullah. Yeah, we are increasing the number now. Good. So, Muhammad Abdullah. Muhammad Abdullah. Yeah, Muhammad Abdullah is from Multan. Multan, Pakistan. Multan, Pakistan. Belo Muabat. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So below M. Below movie bath. B. Sorry. B E L L O. Below movie bath. Hello, Buima. Yeah. Pakistan, Multan City. Yeah, Anushka Gupta. 13. Nasira Butul, Pakistan, Multan. Nasira Multan. So, fine. Bhavana Rajakunda, Hyderabad. Nursing, Hyderabad. Yes. So, this is how I need your meters. Uh, Muhammad Abdullah nursing. Nursing, yeah. Fine. Belo but nursing. From Nigeria. Belo Nigeria. Which city? Nigerian. Nigerian. Next is Anushka Gupta. N U S H K. Anushka Gupta. From which city, please? Nursing. So, anybody else missing here? So, Manjula Ravikumar. Manjula Ravikumar is here. Yes, Manjula Ravikumar 322. 0322. Right. Next one is Sangeeta Patel 323. 0323. Right. Shifali Prakash. I'm just checking who is the regular students. Shifali Prakash 323. Very good. Then Maimuna Sayed at 326. This is your attendance at 326. So fine. Next one, Nasira Butul. Nasira Butul. Nasira Butul. Yeah. 326. Yes. Then next one, Mufa Hamid, 327. Yeah. Next one is Bhavana Rajakonda. Bhavana Rajakonda. Yes. 328. So, Bhavana Rajakonda. Right. 328. So if you had not uh, put your name there, full name 320. I don't see your name here. So that's why uh, 328. 28. Yeah. So you can type your name. That is attendance, giving attendance. More students will come now. Anushka Gupta from Bangalore. Bangalore. Okay. Indian. Right. Ado Ekiti. Yes. 
ado ekiti belo mo ado ekiti yeah so we got uh, these names so far then one minute we are starting 329 belo 329 very good then muhammad abdullah Muhammad Abdullah. Hmm. Muhammad Abdullah, you did not give your name here. You can type your name. Those who did not type your name here, you can type your name here. Muhammad Abdullah, when you came, I don't know. Okay. Muhammad Abdullah 328. 0328. Those who did not type your names can type your names here. Anushka Gupta, 330. 0, 0. Yeah. Fine. So we have 13 students on board. That's really very good. Yes. Yeah, that's good. The number is increasing gradually. And here we are. Yeah, just have a quick look. So this is the first page, second page. And the third page. Okay, ready, we are taking off. Now here, right, questions 13 to 24. 
Now there are three things that you have to follow. What are those three things? Let me give you the point. So measures, steps, three steps. Three steps. Three, three steps you have to follow. Have to follow three steps. And what are those three steps? Number one, skimming. Number two, scanning. Number three, solving. These are the three S technique. Three S technique. You have to follow the three S technique. This is very, very, very important. Three S technique. Yes, Suma Maria. Three S technique. Yeah. So, we are increasing in size. Those who came late, write your names. I will take your attendance afterwards. Just to give your attendance by giving your first name and second name. Write down your first name and second name. So, this is 3S technique. This is 3S technique. Yeah. This is very important. 3S technique is very important. Very good. Azubike Elizabeth. First letter in uh, A and E should be capital letters. All others are small letters. Okay. Next time. Okay. Rewrite your name with A capital letter and E capital letter. Remaining small letters. That is the rule how we have to write everywhere. Not only here. Yeah. So three years technique. First is skimming. Second one is scanning. Third one is solving. Very good. Thank you. So now first let us go to skimming. This is how we go. Skimming. Skimming, skimming has some points. What are you skimming? Skimming for these bold ones. Skimming for these bold ones. Skimming these bold letters. Okay. You have to skim for the bold letters. These bold things. What are in bold? Those you have to skim. The first one. Okay. The first one is skimming. Let us take number one skimming here. Number one is skimming. Number one is skimming. Right. If we take skimming, what is this skimming and why should we do this skimming? Okay. This skimming has two steps. Underline the headings and subheadings. So skimming has two steps. That one, number one, is underline the headings. That is number one. Underline the headings. And number two is underline the subheadings. Underline the headings and underline the subheadings. This is what is skimming. Now, what are these headings? And what are these subheadings? Okay. What are the headings and what are the subheadings? Heading is here. This is the heading. Right. And this is the heading. Right. 
these two are headings yes and now the subheadings what are the subheadings subheadings are these these are the subheadings presenting symptoms and in the next page something else will be there next page something else it will be there these are the subheadings every time there will be some bold letters okay these are subheadings yes so symptoms presenting symptoms presenting symptoms means now presenting means now happening he presented with these symptoms history is past symptoms presenting symptoms present and treatment for suggested future so past present future three different things will be there so these headings and subheadings will tell us about what we have to do right now here we have three questions so we are going step by step second one is called a scanning so we are doing underline the headings so we are circling actually and extract two questions 13 to 24 and here questions 13 to 24 patient and presenting symptoms name of the patient okay now let us go to the second part that is scanning scanning this is number 2 that is scanning scanning this is scanning now what we have to do scanning scanning there are five things which we have to do there are five things that we have to do what is that you have to identify number 1 names number 2 uh, numbers number 3 new vocabulary number 4 difficult vocabulary number 5 special words and phrases these are the five things which you have to follow these are the five things that you are supposed to follow this is the second phase scanning so first phase is skimming second phase is scanning right so we are going to find the names numbers new vocabulary difficult words and special words and phrases that is what is scanning so what are the names you have to see what are the names now if you see i'm changing the color now okay names tony fitzgerald 9 years then 6 weeks ago number seizures name pediatrician name okay so face name a means one number number doesn't mean that 1 2 3 4 5 there are many things related to numbers is mouth mouth is name then two is a number minutes name okay so these are the things which are very important movements names so if you feel that it's a special name you have to analyze this is names numbers new vocabulary difficult vocabulary special phrases and verbs these are the things which you have to notice if you are able to notice these things don't do 100 tests do 10 tests in a systematic way organized way using techniques tips strategies so these are called 4t technology 4t's 4t's 
फोर फोर टी अप्रोच फोर टी अप्रोच Now, what is this 4T approach? Every time, sir, you are giving new new words. What is this 4T approach? What is this 4T approach? 4T approach. First one is technology. I think somebody's mic is on. Yeah, new all. Yes, 4T technology. So, first one is number one. technology number 2 techniques number 3 is tips and number 4 is a tricks these are the four things i am going to teach you yes no for anything is there just please chat box right in the chat box yeah chat box yes okay i'll follow it up yeah so um fine so here right blue yes 4t approach i'll tell you why i underlined yes okay so why which category it will come sir yeah why you underlined hands movements movements is a special name movements is a special word movements is okay dash movements movements actions there's something dynamic action is going on it's a special vocabulary special words and phrases yeah Fifth category. So I'll give you some words uh, how they are categorized. So this is red mark, red line. I am giving you, okay, and small line. Now, now name. Okay, let us see what type of vocabulary is which. A is a number. A is a number because A means one. Two is a number because two means number. Okay, six is a number. Okay, that's a seizure. Seizure is a special name. Seizure is a special name of a special situation or a physical condition. Movements, a special name. Movements, a special name related to action. Okay, dynamic action. Difficult vocabulary. Okay, pediatrician is a name of a profession. Okay, special name of a profession. face face is the name of a body part face is the name of the body part mouth is the name of a body part so like the minutes minutes is a name okay of a particular uh, time measuring thing right like that weeks name of a duration so that a tony fitzgerald is a special name special name not ordinary name capital letters are there special name of a particular person so like that 9 is a number 9 is a number so you know there are some things right um difficult vocabulary difficult vocabulary pediatrician is also difficult word because maybe some people don't know the spelling pediatrician okay some people it may be a new name for them okay if they don't know what is a pediatrician some people may not know so like that um fine different different things so new vocabulary first time you are listening to this word post seizure post seizure maybe this is a new vocabulary for you because first time you are seeing post seizure you know but post seizure maybe you are hearing for the first time okay many many people don't know what is post you may say after seizure how many of you know is reading this word for the first time in your life post seizure okay post operative you know but post seizure maybe first time in your life you are seeing how many of you are seeing for the first time say uh, yes 
how many of you already know this word post seizure together you have used or you have spoken or you have listened earlier or you have read earlier first time you are reading or listening or speaking or writing say yes before only you have used then say no come on just type your name yes just type yes if you are listening for the first time no if you already know it ya no fahamad you can just say yes just to say yes in the chat box so that i can see there yeah that's it all of you can type like that yes if you all uh, no means already know no yes no need to write uh, my for every time just say yes that's enough yeah if you already know so you are not speaking that means it is difficult vocabulary for you you are not speaking active it's an active word is an is it an active word for you that means you are speaking or writing that's active word that means yeah passive vocabulary so like that it is these are the different types of words now you are going to listen for these things now let us see here um commencement of commencement of uh, brainstorming session now brainstorming session yes brainstorming session now now here pd described by pediatrician as now let us see described by pediatrician as question number 13 q13 so what do you guess here question number 13 guess what description described by pediatrician as mild seizures moderate seizures or intense seizures what type of seizures are there so febrile seizures very good uh, yeah one word is enough no for him is only one word one word is enough one word is enough one word is enough clonic seizures okay very good benign seizures very good tonic seizures tonic clonic seizures yes so whatever type of seizure mild moderate extreme seizures intense seizures painful seizures or whatever it is okay you can write there now question number 14 what about the others why are you not participating seriously yeah question number 14 binai begin with a dash on face begin with a dash on face yeah lesion on face it's okay yes write down question number 14 begin with seizures begin with a dash on face a pustule on face lesion on face begin with a dash on face come on abnormal movement on face very good come on abnormal movement will not come because a is there maimuna a is there remember a one so okay an abnormal movement a movement is okay but a abnormal movement will not be right a rash on the face right a movement is okay abnormal movement jerky movement a jerky movement yes an abnormal movement so not that's not suit that doesn't suit movement a movement right a jerking right very good come on come on come on activate activate smacking shaking jerking jerky sign very good come on come on come on activate 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 very good you are doing working very hard fine that's good awesome strange stranger stranger a stranger on face a strange movement you can say not stranger a spasm yeah okay good 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 the next one is question 15 a drooping on the face okay right question number 
His mouth makes a dash movements. His mouth makes shivering movements, maybe. Yeah. Biting movements, maybe. Yeah. Jerky movements, yeah. Funny movements, right? Adjective will come. A dash movements. Adjective will come. Very good. Makes a stiff movements, not stiffness movements, stiff movements. Stiffness is a noun, it will not come. What else? What else? What else? Terrible movements. Good. Okay, that's fine. Uh, high floating movements. Okay. Yes, we will go to the next slide now. We will go to the next slide now. Print the screen. Yes, that's it. Movement is already there. No need to write movement, Muhammad Abdullah. Yes, so that is first page is done. So we are going to the second page. So clear all drawings. Yeah. Second page, second page from 15 over, 16 onwards. Yes, yeah, 16 onwards. Now wait. Now we are discussing post seizure. Pre seizure, while seizure, post seizure. So this is post seizure. Post seizure. Now here also we are going to identify. So subheadings, first one, scanning, social history, medical history. This is skimming, then scanning for the important words. Scanning for the important words. This is first phase. Second phase, names, numbers, new words. Let us take another color. So here it is. Um, fine. Post seizure, then during during seizure you can see here reports feeling dash or during seizure during means while time time during is a special word which shows about time in this in the time of at the time of seizure that is it at the time of seizure he is tired afterwards often suffers from suffer often suffers from suffering suffers from what okay social history academically then maternal grandfather, grandfather is dash, is dash like maternal grandfather, is dash like maternal grandfather, relationship, family history maybe, relation. So diagnosis, special word. Okay, then born, 42 weeks, number. Okay. So received dash, straight afterwards received something, maybe medication. Receives some medication, has mild, mild what? Mild, some physical condition. Okay, right, till here. Third, afterwards, we'll see the remaining questions. So, now let us take part in the brainstorming session. Take part in the brainstorming session. Yes, now session commences here. Session commences here. Yes. Now here, brainstorming session again. Question number 16. Question number 16, what do you expect? Reports feeling something. 
dash seizure type of seizure some feeling dash feelings feelings adjective feeling pain noun or feeling irritation okay feeling confusion numbness very good nofa very good uh bhavana painful painful feeling painful okay that's also fine headache during seizure tired during seizure very good come on reports feeling dash nausea yeah feeling nausea weak uh, during seizure okay very good come on come on come on brainstorm don't stop this is a battle if you stop somewhere you will drop that bullet will come and hit you i'm commanding you run forward or hide behind shivering yes uh, irritable very good dizziness very good breathlessness very good anushka come on dizzy very good feeling dizzy either adjective or noun will come here shaky feeling shaky feeling shivering very good come on come on more 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 this is not for this question any time you will get such questions you will immediately your mind will be ready with these points then next one he is tired afterwards okay next one is question 17 groggy okay question number 17 often suffers from dash often suffers from dash suffers from some problem headache maybe whatever come on guess question number 17 first migraine fever hypertension hypertension tension spelling hypertension bhavana what is the spelling of hypertension please check it out no somebody help bhavana not bhavana shifali shifali somebody help shifali hypertension spelling mistake migraine breathlessness headache breathing problem insomnia headache yeah nofa has helped maimuna has helped both the doctors are ready to help very good sha lock very good hypertension yeah shifali very good thank you see how many are helping okay united we stand divided we fall i hope you understand yes bhavana very good write 10 times so that you will not do this mistake again in your notebook diabetic headache very good come on come on come on shoot more answers more options epilepsy facial palsy panic very good we learn from everyone learn all that others also note down these words afterwards collect these words from the telegram channel yes notes from the class grouping face yes very good so next one is question number 18 question number 18 yes social history performing well academically is a dash is maybe hefty or bony or uh, soft like maternal grandfather mother side maternal grand maternal means mothers mother side maternal difficult word maternal if you don't know the word maternal means mother side is a difficult word or special word yeah uh, is dash like maternal grandfather is a strong is weak is a slim is tall is fat is well built well built is one word with a hyphen manjula somebody help manjula well built with a hyphen in between no space hyphen in between is the one word compound word hyphenated compound hyphenated word somebody help yes well built no well built no space in between yeah nofa has written correctly yeah that's how you have to write yes a uh, short come on write down more words more words fatty is fatty is fat fat is a nickname sharp very good slim maybe fat slim thin intelligent heavy obese 
ओके परफेक्ट ओके फाइन नेक्स्ट वन इज क्वेश्चन नंबर 19 रिसेंटली डायग्नोज्ड एज मे बी डायबिटिक मे बी what type of sickness he has diabetes recently diagnosed as seizure he is diagnosed as seizure recently diagnosed as hypertensive yeah hypertensive very good diabetic hypertensive copd okay epileptic yeah 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 myocardial infarction neurological disorders okay write down whatever you get come on come on come on diagnosis diagnosis sciatica okay asthma diagnosed as asthmatic asthmatic will be right neopha nephrotic syndrome okay good 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 next ardemia okay fine next question number 20 can received dash straight up born 42 weeks at the time of 42 weeks by emergency c section and received dash straight upwards afterwards what received dash straight up towards what did he receive question number 20 icu received it intensive care unit treatment okay oxygen straight up towards okay come on come on yeah fluid feed vitamin k anti epileptic okay come on come on come on give whatever you want think think brainstorm Uh, no for small c clamped umbilical cords small c okay received a dash total protein nutrition sifal is spelling mistake nutrition somebody help her uh, mohammad abdullah surfactant breast milk is one word mofo breast milk is one word no cannot separate that one that is wrong okay write down again correct and write down na what is the use of noting write down again correct your spelling yeah that is fine yes next one is question number 21 21 Question number twenty-one. Yes, had mild dash after birth. Had mild fever, discomfort. Discomfortness is not there. Discomfort, restlessness, fever. Discomfort is itself noun. Abdominal pain. Yeah.
Yeah. So very good. 21 is over. Now we are moving to the next part. We are going to the next part. We are moving to the next part. Yes. Yeah, uh, this is how it is, print a screen. Yes. The next one is the third one. Right, third one. Now let us see here. Same one. Yeah. So here it is now. So yes, question number till where we have seen twenty one. So question number 22, yes, wait, don't write anything, wait, let us discuss this once. First, wait, please, 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 sorry. So 22, 23, 24, uh, experience A, one off dash, A, A, one off, A is a number, A is a number. So here singular noun will come, singular noun will come. Okay, one off is an adjective, A is a singular number, A dash. A one-off experience, a one-off dash, okay. Yes, okay, a one-off dash, a one-off dash, right. So here noun will come, noun. In this place, noun will come because a dash, a noun. Check out this article, off is there, mother is of dash heritage. Off is there, off, after, off is a preposition. After that noun will come, but before noun adjective will come. Mother is of dash heritage, adjective. What type of heritage? Indian heritage, India is a name. Indian heritage, culture, okay. Cultural heritage, like that one, okay. So that is that one. So next one is mother suffers from, from something. From is a preposition. From is a preposition. So after preposition, noun will come from fever. Mother suffers from fever. Mother suffers from something else, like that one. So you can understand in a noun, of noun, after article a noun will come, after preposition noun will come, suffers from noun will come. So here also you are getting a noun, noun, noun. Three places you are getting nouns. So. Yes, now let us uh, check here. What are the words? Question number 22. What you are expecting in question number 22? Come on, write down, answer, shoot your brainstorming.
Yes. Mother suffers from cough. Uh, ex experienced a one-off cough. Okay, very good. Yeah. So, cough, uh, flu symptoms. A one of symptoms is wrong because A is singular. Symptoms should come. Anushka. Symptoms will not come. Okay. Fever. Yeah. Abdominal pain. Weakness. Weakness. Symptom, yeah, fatigue, chest tightness, very good. Very good, very good, chest tightness. Sore throat, very good. Very good, very good, brain injury. Okay. Experience, uh, right, congestion, fine. Now, question number 23. Question number 23, very good. Uh, mother is of Dash heritage, Indian heritage, Anglo-Indian heritage, American heritage, or um, something, some heritage, African heritage, African, Heritage. African heritage. Chinese C capital letter. Muhammad Abdullah. Chinese capital. Shifali. I capital letter. For names of countries. Chinese. Indian. Why are not kept writing capital letter? Yeah, that's very good. Muhammad Abdullah. Very good. Cultural heritage. Heritage itself. Heritage itself is cultural. Okay. Indian heritage. Uh, like that one. Very good. Some heritage. Aboriginal heritage. Non-Aboriginal heritage. Aboriginal heritage. No capital letter. Non-Aboriginal heritage. Okay. So, yes, that is correct. Aboriginal heritage. European heritage. Western heritage. Eastern heritage. Northern heritage. Southern heritage. Tropical heritage, tropical heritage, equatorial heritage, equator, those who live on the equator, equatorial heritage, diverse heritage. Yeah, okay. Then, uh, tropical heritage, Tropic of Cancer, Tropic of Capricorn. Okay, polar heritage, polar regions. Okay, equatorial heritage, equator. So like that. Yeah. Uh, next one Where is this date. Okay, natural of natural heritage. Mm, okay. So question number twenty-four, last one. Mother suffers from dash. Mother suffers from dash. Depression. Hypertension. Fever. Headaches. Migraine, epilepsy, 
kaf no fa small letters in the middle of the sentence anybody will write capital letter what you are doing no fa you are a doctor how can you do these mistakes you have to be very careful if you are angry no problem you are a doctor you should get more uh, i'm not uh, shouting i'm telling you correcting anybody those who mistakes uh, take from me bullets uh, vadas and pakodas pancakes sweets and toffees i'll give you if you do mistakes sore throat heart disease heart disease then you have to say a heart disease a heart disease a disease no a throat you cannot say a diabetes you cannot say but disease when you say it should be a heart disease sangeeta patel arthritis very good waist pain fine chest discomfort right rheumatoid arthritis right come on get all the names what are you doing are you nurses or doctors or uh, just normal people what are you thinking come on come on brainstorm if you cannot brainstorm today then how can you do it tomorrow in the exam your mind should run faster than 1000 kilometers per minute in the exam now you are not even running 1 kilometer per minute asthma abdominal pain uh constipation and uh, what is that uh continence incontinence urinary incontinence or incontinence dizziness come on bring out the names na cramps measles mumps bring all the names of the diseases whatever you want stool incontinence urinary incontinence urinary malignant melanoma very good come on trying to act it body ache tachycardia t small letter manjula ravi kumar gout gout spelling sangeeta patel what is the spelling of gout i don't know this is new gout somebody help her uh, sangeeta Dis disuria or diarrhea. Shivali Prakash says spelling mistake. Somebody help. Diarrhea or disuria? I don't know what you are writing there. Uh, gastritis. Yeah, diarrhea. Diarrhea spelling O E A. Somebody write with O. Yeah, this is the right spelling. Diarrhea. British spelling. The other one is American spelling. Both are correct. Colon cancer. Very good. That's the end of the game. Yes. Stop now. So clear all drawings. Yeah. Yes. Now the game is.